Now I realize that promising better skin in just two weeks is a really big claim to make, but you can achieve it. And I'm here to show you how. Hi guys and welcome. My name is Dr. K and I'm a cosmetic doctor and here on this channel I share everything to do with skincare, beauty, cosmetic procedures, tweakments, all the things and the tools that you need to get your ultimate glow up. So if that sounds good to you, you are most definitely welcome and keep watching. So what do you need to do to get glowy skin? The first step is exfoliation and this is 80% of the work. You can't get glowy skin without having an exfoliated skin. Your skin is made up of several different layers of skin cells and each of these layers peel off at synchronized times to reveal new, unblemished, intact skin. Now, this process happens without you having to think about it, but we can help speed this process along through artificial methods. And that's the process of exfoliation in a nutshell. So how do we do this? Well, there are two methods. One is physical exfoliation, in which you use physical scrubs or cloths or products to manually remove the layer of dead skin. The second way is by chemical exfoliation in which you don't physically scrub at the skin but instead you apply products and ingredients that do the work for you. When it comes to facial skin we tend to favor chemical exfoliation over physical. The skin on your body is a little less temperamental so you can get away with more. The next question is how often should I exfoliate? This is something that I will say you should pay attention to because it is very easy to overdo it. The short answer is that it depends on the method, whether you're using physical exfoliation or you're using chemicals. How often should you be exfoliating if you're using physical exfoliation? I wouldn't do it every day because your skin will get raw, it will get inflamed and you'll be doing too much. So I wouldn't advise doing physical exfoliation more than once or twice a week. I think once a week is enough. If you ask me the benefit of physical exfoliation is that the results are pretty much instant chemical exfoliation on the other hand uses chemicals to get rid of the dead skin there's no physical action of you manually removing the dead skin the chemicals do all the work for you however chemical exfoliation is a slower process than physical it might take a few days or a couple of weeks of consistent use for you to start seeing the results so chemical exfoliation usually uses lactic acid and glycolic acid. The good thing is that because most of the products out there are quite mild, you can use them every day. So for physical exfoliation, anything with all the beads and the grains, I find personally is quite harsh. The one product I've actually really gotten on with are these Turkish body cloths. I actually came across this when I was on holiday to Turkey and I had a hammam treatment where you basically just sit there and you lay there like a, you know, like a baby and a grown man or a woman scrubs you down and they were using these cloths and I found that after I finished my skin felt so soft so smooth and the amount of dead skin that these people were removing it was that it was a lot it was actually quite disgusting after my holiday I came back and I was determined to find these cloths and thankfully we have the internet. Places like Amazon, eBay, special retailers, they sell them and they're pretty cheap. And in fact, I've put a link down below to one I found on Amazon that's really good, that's similar to the one that I use, so you can try it too. My tip though is not to do it on dry skin, okay? Create some sort of a slip, make sure to wash and cleanse your body as you normally do. Make sure that there's still some liquid on your body to create some slip so you don't get too much friction and too much rawness with the rubbing and then just get to work. If you're not able to get your hands on that one, don't despair, there's another one that I've seen that has really high reviews and that is the Japanese Salux cloths as well. 
With chemical exfoliation, as I've already mentioned, it's chemicals that do all the work. And the two main chemicals that we know are lactic acid and glycolic acid. The one that I've used in the past is amlactin, and that contains lactic acid. If you can get your hands on it, that's the one I would go for, purely because it's been on the market for longer, and I've personally tried it, I've tested it, and I can vouch for it. There's another one that is available and that is also got lactic acid in it. It's called Ameliorate Lotion. Both of these come as lotions which you apply after your shower. Instead of a body lotion, you'd put this on your skin and then just leave it to dry and get dressed as normal. The thing I'll warn you about just in advance with Amlactin is that it does have a funky smell. And this is because lactic acid is actually, it comes from goat's milk. Another brand that I've seen that do something similar is First Aid Beauty. And they do a range that's more towards people with KP, keratosis pilaris. But between you and me, it doesn't make a difference. Your skin doesn't say, I have keratosis pilaris, I can only use this product. Or I have dry skin, I can only use this product your skin responds to ingredients it doesn't respond to branding and packaging so if that's the only one that you can get your hands on i would still use it so now that we've gone through exfoliation in a lot of detail we can now move on to moisturization which is the next most important step now let me tell you i was shocked absolutely shocked shooketh if you will to find that there are people out there that go through life not moisturizing i mean how do you do that but i got over that pretty quickly after realizing that a lot of people didn't really see the need or the importance of moisturizing or they've previously tried moisturizers that were just too sticky oily or kind of left a weird feeling on their skin the good thing is that we have moved on and there's so many more products now that are available so you don't really have an excuse and if you're on your quest to get glowing skin you can't get away without moisturizing you need to moisturize and how often every day unlike your facial skin which is very sensitive dry oily combination body moisturizers are a lot more simple and straightforward over the years, I have tried lots of different ones, but time after time, I keep coming back to my basics. And that's the key word, basic. There's no need to splurge and go all out for a moisturizer. As long as you've got one that does what it says on the tin, you are good. And so my holy grail moisturizers tend to be the ones that are designed for people with dry skin. I don't have dry skin. I don't have eczema but I find that the properties in these moisturizers work regardless of what skin condition that you have and when it comes to it more moisture is always a good thing okay so I would recommend anything from the Aveeno line and they have a huge range out there Aveeno baby Aveeno this Aveeno that just as long as it says Aveeno and it's a moisturizer, nine times out of 10, you'll be good. If Aveeno is not available or it's out of your price range, a slightly cheaper option is Cetraben. Both of these I would recommend because they are light in consistency, they dry really quickly, and they're non-sticky. So, what about oils and oil moisturizers? What do I think about those? The short answer is I don't. I don't think they're any good and I think oils in general are not good at moisturizing what they tend to do is that they sit on the skin and reflect light and give shine but what you need especially if you want to get that gorgeous moisturized glowing skin from within look you first need to get moisture into the skin's layers and then you can finish off with an oil so my skincare routine most days does not consist of oils some oils like cocoa butter and shea butter do have moisturizing properties but in general i would still recommend 
the proper moisturizers like the Aveeno, Cetraben and other brands like before. So let's say you've got a special occasion and you really want to glow. You really want to amp it up and have that bronzed glowy perfection. What do you do? One is you wash your skin as normal, exfoliate following the steps that I mentioned in the earlier part of this video. And that, as I mentioned, is 80% of the work. You gotta exfoliate. Very, very important. Then, after you've exfoliated, is to moisturize. This is not the step where you start the glow. This is the step where you rehydrate and you moisturize the skin. And this is where I would use my Aveeno or Cetraben lotion. Now, step three is where the magic happens. That's when you go back and you seal that moisture in and you give it some shine. So something like cocoa butter or shea butter. This is how you avoid that ashy look a few hours later that makes it look as if you never even bothered. If you want to take it to the next level, and let's say you're going to a really grand occasion or you just really want to get some bronze glowing goddessy or god like look that's when you step in and you add some glitter or some light reflective particles and that's where all products like fenty body lava or a shimmer body oil would come in you don't have to go for the most expensive one it's more to do with the application and consistency rather than paying premium coin for premium product so those are my tips why not give them a try and let me know how you get on as ever, if you haven't already, make sure to comment below, like and share this video, and consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!